let's talk about the key bond forming step. Uh, part three is the diazo dye formation for making methyl orange. So um, aniline, remember, has this structure here. It's benzene with an NH2 attached to it. So that's aniline. So this is NN dimethyl aniline. The capital N and the capital N denote where those methyl groups are attached. And we'll learn about the naming of amines later. Now, there's a lone pair right here of the nitrogen attached to the aromatic ring. So that's part of the no chops kind of way to simply memorize that this is an ortho para director. Here's the ortho, here's the ortho, and here's the para. Um, because of sterics, we're going to have a little bit much greater preferential um, attack at the uh, para carbon. So that's what we're going to show in the, in the step here, okay? So we're going to do electrophilic aromatic substitution uh, at the para uh, position, okay? At the para position. Now, um, the electrophile is the diazonium. So here's the diazonium that we synthesized. It's that white solid. And then in the last step, we add uh, dimethyl aniline. So what we can do is, uh, so let's highlight the hydrogen that we wish to uh, replace or substitute. And let's go ahead and show um, these bonding electrons, these pi, this pi bond attacking this electrophile. So it's a pretty fancy electrophile. And um, it takes a while to draw this, but um, the electrophilic aromatic substitution is always going to be a f involve a first step attacking an electrophile. And uh, we definitely attacked something that was positively charged. And so it takes a while to draw all these in, doesn't it? So um, we'll leave those pi bonds the same. I'll highlight my hydrogen here, and I'll put the positive charge here. So some students get a little confused where to put the uh, positive charge. You, you're going to place it on the uh, carbon that has, you know, three hydro three groups, not, not this carbon here because you have four groups attached to it. Okay, so this is a resonance stabilized guy. You could draw... Um, uh, three other resonance, well, not including resonance of the other pi bonds in the molecule, but you could draw a lot of resonance structures. We don't care about that, really. What we want to do is deprotonate um, this hydrogen right here. So we have uh, water in solution, okay, an aqueous solution, and that's going to uh, just make a bit of acid when this deprotonates. And that reaction right there will give you uh, methyl orange, okay? <clears throat> let's pick a nice orange color for that, and let's draw methyl orange. Now, it's customary to draw this diazo as in, an, in a trans or a, you know, an E configuration, probably because it's more sterically... Um, preferred to be in that orientation and so that guy right there is uh, methyl orange okay these are these are your two methyl groups that came from the dimethyl aniline okay so this guy right here is methyl orange okay so if you think backwards through um, the retrosynthesis um, this is the key bond uh, that you're forming okay so this part comes from the diazonium. And this part right here comes from something that's highly activated. For example, a phenol or an aniline or any other things. So these are how all the dyes are generally made.